Shalom, Kahala Yahawa, Bahashem, Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kapadash, the bottom of the Apostle of Great Millstone. Shalom to you brothers out there pushing this word in sincerity and truth. <coughs> Sorry, dude. Um, title of this video is, uh, the, you know, These Are the Lord's Words. So I'm jump straight into it. Jeremiah chapter 28, verse 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and, and of pestilence. So the prophets that have been before me, before the apostles, etc., are the same prophets here today, first and foremost. And that's reincarnation. But secondly, have spoke about you know, kingdoms and countries to be destroyed, you know, through war, evil, and disease, aka pestilence, pestilences. <coughs> so, that being said, you know, what, what is written is written for our foretime, basically, is written for us, it was written for us in the past, and it's written for us, to, uh, um, for today, for our learning, you know, there's nothing in this book that you can read this book ten times from cover to cover, you know, through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Shai and see that every time you read it, something new to be learned, a word, you know, a custom, etc. This is the way of life. And this is um this is what's gonna save you in, in that day. Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. But that being said, you know, this, basically, this is written over 2,000 years ago, right? And we're just living out this movie that the Lord has written, you know? And the main characters is Esau, Jacob, uh, and, well, yeah, Esau and Jacob. This That's the main movie. It's always been, you know, so-called black Versus white. <clears throat> it's in every movie. The, the bad guy behind the scenes is always the Edomite. And the good guy that's always getting, you know, messed over is the is Jake, the so-called black man. So, and the Edomite always has Jake go off. But then the, the, the Jake, um, so-called black man, has compassion. Has, he's upright. Well will turn his back on the wicked one, which is Esau, and try to, to redeem himself and then fight against the evil one. And then, you know, there'll be a back and forth for a little bit. But <coughs> the righteous always prevail at the end, no matter what. So that's why you got to have faith in these scriptures. Because the Lord said that Esau shall have but a short time. He knows that he has a short time. That's why he's going hard like he's going hard. He's going to kill a lot of, you know, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, but the righteous shall stand. And, you know, it's a blessing to see that you see the enemy, the fall of your enemy. So, and right now we're still prophesying what? Co uh, uh, against countries, against great kings. Prophesied against um, countries, the Greeks. <laughs> Prophesied against countries and great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. That's what's going on right now. And we're telling you that we're going to go into World War Three. We're telling you that America is going to be destroyed by all the other countries. We're telling you that... Um, this so-called great kingdom, nothing shall heal it. Nothing. <laughs> nothing shall. There's no ointment to 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 heal America. And we're telling you that evil is to come, a time of evil and pestilence is pretty much here, with this so-called coronavirus. But there's gonna be things way worse after that. After the coronavirus. 
so <clears throat> you know and I, I'm gonna, you know the last scripture I'm gonna bring out is uh second chronicles chapter 15 verse 13 that whosoever would not seek the Lord Yahweh of Israel because only Israel will be saved and, and, and I mean the nation of Israel period will see the kingdom but the the ones that are of Israel that whosoever would not seek the Lord Yahweh of Israel should be put to death whether small or great whether man or woman so if you don't seek the Lord Yahweh Yahweh Shai in these last days these latter times uh, uh, these end times you're going to be destroyed by many different ways so the Lord has a, 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 a real good mixture of, of how to tort he's the king of terrors you know so we persuade men through fear and trembling and hopefully you hear these words whoever it does whoever's out there that's watching these these videos out there on YouTube world because <clears throat> you know just just to give an example one uh, prophet like Ezra or Ezra or Daniel saw certain visions when they came out of that vision they were sick and, 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 and terrified of what the Lord um, terrified of what the Lord at that time was going to do, you know, and that's the same that's going on for us. Like brothers are having visions, brothers are having dreams about certain things, spiritual powers, and so forth, you know. And uh, basically, my point is, you know, seek the Lord while He may be found, because if you don't. And if you're not seeking the Lord, like these people out here marching and looting and, 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 and rioting and, and whatnot, even though we know there's more to it than that, but just being out there, the elect ain't going to be caught up out there. The elect are going to keep it spiritual and do videos and watch videos and be brotherly and, you know, be rooted in this, in this because this is your foundation. Because the Lord said what? A coming in volume of the book. The Lord is the word. This is his flesh. This is his blood, you know. So take heed while you while you can. So Kahala Yahweh, Bashem, Hamashiach, Hawashai, Bashem Kapadash, Double Honest the Apostles of Great Millstone. And shout out to you brothers out there pushing his word and sitting in truth.